Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to create a fully working Windows 10 bootable USB drive using Microsoft's official method. This is one of the safest and most reliable ways to prepare a bootable USB, and it works perfectly whether you want to do a clean installation of Windows 10, upgrade an older PC, or repair a system that's not working properly. Before we get started, I have a small request. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It really helps to growing my channel. All right, let's begin. First, open your browser and search for Windows 10 ISO download. Make sure you click on Microsoft's official website, not any third-party source. Now, when you land on the page, you might not see a direct download link for the ISO right away. That's because Microsoft usually shows you the media creation tool instead. But there's a simple trick to reveal the direct download links. Right-click anywhere on the page and choose Inspect. On the right side, a Developer Tools window will open. At the top of that window, click the Device Toolbar icon. This will switch the page into Mobile View. Once you've done that, refresh the page. After refreshing, you can close the Developer Tools section. Now scroll down and you'll see the download options clearly listed. Select Windows 10 Multi-Edition ISO. Click Confirm. Then choose your preferred language and confirm again. Finally, select the 64-bit download option. While the ISO is downloading, we also need a small tool called Rufus. Rufus is a free and reliable program that helps create bootable USB drives. Open a new tab and search for Rufus Download. Visit the official Rufus website and grab the latest version. It's a very small file, only a few megabytes, so it will download quickly. Once both the Windows ISO file and Rufus are ready, plug in your USB drive. Now launch Rufus. You'll see a simple interface with a few options. First, under Device, select your USB drive. Then click Select and choose the Windows ISO file you downloaded earlier. Leave the other settings on their default values. Finally, click Start. At this point, Rufus will show you a couple of warnings. Just click OK for all. Now Rufus will format the USB drive and write all the necessary files to make it bootable. This process usually takes a few minutes depending on your USB speed. Once Rufus shows the status as ready, you're done. Click Close. Then safely eject your USB drive. Now remove USB and connect again. If you now check this PC, you'll notice the USB drive has a new name and logo. That's how you know it's been successfully made bootable. Congratulations, you now have a working Windows 10 bootable USB drive that you can use to install or repair Windows on any computer. If this tutorial helped you, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. I'll be posting more easy-to-follow guides to help you with tech setups and troubleshooting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.